everyone! On this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to be talking about ICD-10 PCS procedural coding system because I wanted to go more in depth on some of the language that is used in that code book because I realized in some of my other videos I didn't really cover some of the approaches. So I wanted to do this video so you would understand what I'm talking about when I talk about the different approaches. So the first approach that you will find in ICD-10 PCS is external. Procedure performed directly on the skin or mucous membrane and procedures performed indirectly by the application of external force through the skin or mucous membrane. So with external, basically we're talking about any procedure that happens on the outside of the body and only the outside of the body. We are also talking about procedures that don't actually do incisions into the body or like when doctors use their own bodily force to get your shoulder joint back into place after it's been dislocated. They actually didn't cut any of the skin to do that. They used their own bodily force, so we would say that was an external approach. Next approach is open, cutting through the skin or mucous membrane and any other body layers necessary to expose the site of the procedure. So open is pretty self-explanatory. They're doing a very large incision, opening you up, so they can see with their eyes the internal body parts that they are going to be operating on. No visual equipment needed. Then we have percutaneous, entry by puncture or minor incision of instrumentation through the skin or mucous membrane and any other body layer necessary to reach the site of the procedure. Percutaneous can be a little tricky. I still to this day have some issues with deciding if it's an open or percutaneous procedure with some of the operations that happen in the subcutaneous tissue and fascia. But as far as with percutaneous, it's gonna be a very small incision, usually with like a pick line or an IV or whatever tool that they can poke into your skin and to whatever body layer, and then they can put their other smaller tools through that needle down into the body part where they can start doing the work. But they cannot visually see with their eyes the body part they are working on. They have to go by touch or by feel, or by imaging guidance from a completely different section of the code book, fluoroscopy, etc. Other than that, they can't see with their eyes where the body part is and what they're actually doing when they're working on it. That is percutaneous. Then we have percutaneous endoscopic. Literally the same thing as percutaneous, except endoscopic means once they've made that incision, that tiny, tiny incision, they put a very small scope or an endoscope of sorts into that hole and then that is the way they can visually see their path to the body part and then they can visually see with that endoscope visual assistance when they work on the body part. Then we have the natural or artificial opening. Entry of instrumentation through a natural or artificial external opening to reach the site of the procedure. So this one we are talking about they are putting their tools through a natural opening like the mouth or through an artificial opening like a port that was put on into the body in a previous separate procedure. So their tools are going in the natural or the artificial opening and that is where their tools will then go down into the body part that they're working on but they cannot visually see with their eyes the body part they are working on unless they have imaging guidance assistance in a completely separate part of the code book. Then we have the natural or artificial opening endoscopic. Same thing as the one before via natural or artificial opening, except they're putting an endoscope in either the natural opening or orifice or the artificial opening like the port. They're putting their scope in one of those to guide them to the body part so they can actually see what they're working on. And then we have the natural or artificial opening with percutaneous endoscopic assistance. Entry of instrumentation through a natural or artificial external opening and entry by puncture or minor incision of instrumentation through the skin or mucous membrane and 
any other body layers necessary to aid in the performance of the procedure. This one is actually really interesting. You won't come across it that often. It is not available in some or most of the tables within the body systems of the code book, so you might not see it that often, but with this one, they are doing two separate entries via natural or artificial opening and an entry of percutaneous into the skin. This gives them two separate angles of visualization while they're working on whatever body part. I have seen they use the term a rendezvous where they have the scope go down like the, the esophagus into the stomach and then the duodenum and then it may go up into the pancreas but at that point the scope can't go any further so then they have to do another approach entry through a uh, percutaneous through the abdomen literally down into the pancreas where they're actually going to be doing the work with their tools but they need that endoscope from that other pathway so they can have a different angle of visualization while they are doing the procedure so that is essentially that one. You probably won't use this one, but the only reason it's in here is because then you don't have to have two separate codes for two separate approaches. Because in PCS, if the approach changes, even if they're working on the same body part, if the approach changes, you need two codes, one for via natural or artificial opening and one for percutaneous. But with this approach, they've combined them, so you only have to do one. So those are the approaches, so now, in the next videos when I discuss the procedures and actually building codes in the PCS code book, you'll know what I mean about the approaches so you won't be confused. So thanks for watching. Go follow the links in the description that will go to the other PCS videos if you are interested and haven't seen them yet. And I will see you all later. Bye!